Let's do another one. That Kakwadra mash is disgusting! Sizzly Puff Puff! I should still be able to do it. Nope. I just, I just, I just screwed the pooch. Welp. Just barely till. It'll be plus two probably still. I've had it happen before. I've gotten perfections when it shrinks back, but it's usually dependent on the item if it even has that possibility for a feature. But it doesn't matter. Plus one, whatever. It doesn't. It doesn't even matter. The big deal is getting that plus three in the main hand. Well, honestly, it's potentially better in the off hand. But yeah. Yeah. It works. All right, the hat I got was a Corsair's cap. Oh, it's uh something that yeah. Finding damage by twenty percent. I need a Corsair coat. Or that's from. Let's see, uh, if I go plus two or three, charm goes up, agility goes up, evasion stays same, and defense resistance stays the same. So just agility, which is actually worth trying to reforge. I don't have 17 pearls though. 17, seven, it's three stars too. Woo! I can't even do three star stuff. Well, maybe with Quadra Bash I might be able to now, but I messed up that one helmet that was like two and a half. Hey, I saved your kingdom again. Hello, yeah, it's me. I did that. I think I'll check out the Pirate Cove real quick, see if see if anything's happening there. Maybe I'll get an item or something for helping them out. I don't have a silver key or the silver door opener thingy. I only have red door opener thingy. Hey buddy, how's it going? How's it feel not being a golden statue anymore, huh? Pretty cool, huh? 
Yeah, that was mean. That's right. Huh. Kind of slightly disappointing. They did have, like, history and stuff. And there's just, like, nothing building off of that. Castle's still nice and golden. Forgot to talk to my sister, too. I think she'll probably just be like, yeah, I'll stay here at the end, and that's the last of all I'll hear of her, but. Dun, 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 dun. DQ is a great series, dude. Glad you're enjoying it. You know, it's funny, a couple of years back, I wouldn't speak very highly of the DQ franchise. I'd just kind of be like, yeah, they're just kind of basic generic RPGs. But the thing is, is that my experience with DQ games had only been the first few ones, you know? And I've only kind of seen a little bit of the previous, uh, or the, of the later release games as well. So I didn't really have a firm grasp on the DQ franchise. And then I played 8, and it's like... And I wasn't wrong. I wasn't wrong that they're just like your standard, you know, classic style RPG. Uh, but there's something, there's something magical, you know, about DQ games that just can't really be explained. Like you just, it doesn't matter that it's like your classic style RPG without anything really new introduced introduced into the franchise or the the, the genre. You know, it, they just. The way they're made, and the, the silly jokes, and the puns, and the just general design, it doesn't matter. You just enjoy it. It's just a really... Like, you know, a lot of it has to do with, like, sound effects and menus, like, being really snappy and poppy. Uh, animations being really smooth and flowing. Like, those are all big parts of it. Those are all really big parts of what makes a game really enjoyable without it actually being, like... Without it actually standing out mechanically. I think those are, are highly uh, overlooked aspects of game design. We win again. It's definitely one of the aspects of like what makes me not enjoy a game very well is if it doesn't have very smooth gameplay and by that i mean you know like when you go through a menu if it's if it's hard to do or the sound effects are rough on the ear or like you don't move very well the animations are kind of hokey and and stiff you know it just it makes you feel cheap it's a bad it's bad it sucks it makes the game suck and like dq definitely like especially since eight does not skimp on that and I think that's part of like that magical feeling but I think it's more than that I think it's more than just good animations and good sound design it's like they don't take themselves seriously just enough you know the game's still so serious, but it's also silly. It's just, I don't know, it's great. It's a great franchise, especially since eight. Okay, but I didn't change the camera. We win again. Must not have had much of an impact if he didn't even notice that it wasn't changed. It's almost as if it doesn't matter. Well, I mean, 
What? DQ'd was just was DQ. And then, uh... Final Fantasy came along, and they, they, at first Final Fantasy kind of did the same thing. They just kind of stuck to what made what worked and, and you know improved it. Final Fantasy one, two, and three are all kind of very similar, um, but I think it's just a difference of preference. You know, the the Enix wanted to kind of keep it the same, keep it a franchise, keep it going the the way they had they had known it was. And Final Fantasy, like, squares off, they wanted to stand out. I think they were always probably pressured by Enix. I think Square was always pressured by Enix to kind of, like, innovate, you know? Like, Enix... Like, DQ was always more popular in Japan than uh, Final Fantasy was. And so I think it uh, in encouraged them to sort of reinvent the wheel more drastically, which led them to more innovation. Uh oh And these random encounters are rough. Here, princess. So I think I think that the just their history is what sort of put them in the position that they are, and what and led to what you expect from each franchise. What's up, Phoenix? Uh, thank you for those, dude. That was he. Oh, it's using Hendrix MP. Interesting. That's probably why he ran out of MP that one battle. What's up, Tiffy? What's going on? DQ8 was the first one under the Square Enix banner, yeah. And I think, uh, I think that's important to denote because I think, um, at that point, the, the DQ was franchise had advanced enough to really sort of solidify what you expect out of the franchise. So they 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 knew that DQ was the franchise that kind of like, hey, this is, we're just gonna sort of stick with what we know and make it better as we go. And then Final Fantasy is gonna be the one that we try to innovate on. What's up, kids? Name. I don't know. I haven't done any of the taco stuff because you need multiple things to advance as far as I can as far as I know. I don't I don't know. This is my first playthrough of the game and it also happens to be the Switch version. So you can ask a question, but you can't ask it in the chat because it would be a spoiler to me. But you can join the Discord and in the the side game spoiler channel, we're talking about they you can talk about DQ11 all you want there. Ask your question and I'm sure someone will help you. Or there's always the internet. Let's do this. I hear you can learn things there. Nice. I like how he runs up to throw boomerangs. Owie. Thank you, Elon. I love how much you have to run up to smash the octopus. Freaking love it. <laughs> well, I can guarantee you that we're, you're not going to get the answer here. Just because... I don't think anybody in this channel has actually played the Switch version all the way through and completed it. And uh, I certainly I'm haven't gotten to that yet. point. Frickin' battle and a half just for a random encounter. They're definitely much harder. I'm reluctant to do too much exploring, but I'm just gonna go to uh, that place down there just to get the teleport and then 
I'll see about how much I want to... Oh, you know what I should have done? I forgot I can't get a teleport to those islands anymore. Oh, wait, no, I, I can't get a teleport to those islands anyway. Never mind. I, should, I was thinking I needed to stop by them to get the teleports, but there's no teleports there. So I'm convinced the mermans are only, or the mer kings are only in that spot that I, I mentioned earlier. I'm convinced now, because uh, being all the way out here, going around in circles, have not encountered any of them. I mean, have you played DQ10 to know if you think you would like it? From my understanding, DQ10 is kind of shit. It do doesn't do super hot in Japan, so I mean, you think you want it, but do you? Do you? Well, holy smokes, Andy, that's a hell of a raid. What's going on, everybody? It's the raid to ND all raids. <laughs> I'm sorry. How's it going? Welcome in, everybody. We're playing DQ11. It's super fun. How was your stream? Oh, man, I just killed a tentacular, too. Man. <gasps> Pentarang. All right, we're doing it. Gotta offer it. Gotta make an offering. You have to finish up with pet power called Tempered Tantrum. Flame Slash and Hot Lick. Ah, oh, man, that's a... Let land the finishing blow with Tempered Tantrum. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's, that's rough. What's going on? How was your stream? What were you up to today? Doing something fun. Well, let's stay at the inn real quick, and then I... Let's see if I even have it. Probably on him. Tempered Tantrum. Sets so about a single enemy with a blazing hot blade. Sylvando and Honk. Played some Stardew? I love Stardew Valley. I freaking love Stardew Valley. It's super addicting. DQ11 has been amazing. It's been fantastic. It's been a freaking treat is what it's been. It's just such a great game. Needed a chill day? I feel you there. So for those of you coming in, I'm BGG, I do kind of everything. And uh, except for like, you know, Fortnite or stuff like that, I don't do that. But I do a lot of RPGs. DQ11 has been a treat. It's been a great game. This is the Switch version of the game that just came out a few weeks ago. It It is light years beyond the PS2 version in terms of content. It, it, yeah, I'm, re I'm a retired speedrunner. Yep, I just bought an island, you know, I bought an island with all my speedrunning money that I got from speedrunning, because, like, you know, of course, being a professional speedrunner, I enter all the professional speedrunning tournaments and get all the professional speedrunning prizes and money, of course, naturally. So I bought an island, and here I am retired on my island. Your island? I it's mine. <laughs> yeah, it was a very deep message. I agree. Oh, I should probably save it first. Well, okay. First, first, I don't want to talk to you! Yeah! Yeah! Alright, let's go to lineup. Let's bring in Sylvando. Probably better than him for the... For that. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Maybe I should... No, I need her for single target. I need her for healing. So, let's do this party. 
Yeah, you know, so basically just, I mean, I loved speedrunning while I was doing it, but it's just way too much. Like streaming is already more more work than than your your standard, you know, allotment of work because like post stream I'm setting up scenes and working on playlists and you know doing all sorts of stuff. Like so already you know a, a, a huge amount of my free time is spent managing stuff, which is fine. I enjoy streaming a huge amount, but like with speedrunning it was even more. It was like oh I gotta practice this eight hour run on my on my day off so I can actually try to PB, you know? And it's just like, free time, what's that? And uh, it's stressful because of the grind, it's repetitive because of the grind. And you know, when you play other games, you just enjoy them that much more. I like speedrunning and I like, and I'll continue to do things like, I don't know, randomizers and stuff. Maybe four job fiesta, you know, that kind of stuff. By the way, we have over 60 hours played in this game so far. 60 hours. And I don't, I play games rather quickly. Like when you when you go to like how long to beat kind of websites, like it'll be like, oh, 25 hours to beat and I'll beat it in 18, you know? And I don't rush through a game, I explore it. I just, I pick up information really quickly and I just, I know what I want to do rather rather quickly. And I don't really experiment too much with like abilities. I find what works and I, and I go with that. And then if I get stumped, then I'll, you know, think outside the box, but I tend to be faster at games, so, uh, 60 hours, it's a lot of game. I keep running past cats and, oh my gosh. See, the thing is, we, uh, I already pet those cats before, and all I need to do is pet a cat at least once, but I mean, let's be honest, you can't just pet a cat once, right? Where's the cat? That is a child. We do not pet the child. Where's the cat? Wasn't it down here? Kitty. Kitty. Meow. Meow. Alright. My job here is done. You never watch streamers for what they're what they're playing like the game that they play does have an impact on if I watch a little bit but it's usually like if it's a streamer I like usually the game has nothing to do with it like I'll watch Indy play anything as long as it's not a game I don't want spoilers on you should follow Indy by the way BT dubs <laughs> Like, I would say this, if you like the type of games that I play, you're gonna like the type of games that Andy plays. Like, that's just, that's just objective fact. True, Andy has amazing uh, changing hair colors all the time, and I love colored hair, so it's awesome. It feels kind of creepy saying that, like, oh, Andy, she has amazing hair. It feels creepy saying it, but it's like, I'm just saying she has, like, cool colors in her hair. It's, a, it's definitely a, an awkward thing to say objectively. Alright, I think this is where I fought the Kraken before. Thingy. How is my hair better? What? That's ridiculous. I don't have colored hair. Alright, so we gotta beat him with a pet power. We, we don't just have to use it like a lot of the pet power quests. We have to do the killing blow with it. So... 
Alright, so... Let's get some Accelerattle. It'll be easier if I oomphal up uh, Honk once we get him low. Uh-oh, that's gonna be annoying. I don't want to write his rain, but I think I'll just take the opportunity to get it not a kill on that. Dang it. Okay, did not expect that. Fine. No, I don't need to kill I don't need to count hit points. Like if I like I get it to the I get it to orange. Maybe hit it once or twice. And then I just hope that I get it. Man, Wonk, Honk is a heavy sleeper to be sleeping through all that. Alright, he's orange. So now we just defend until we pep up. There's one. Oh, okay. Wait, oh, I have to use it on Hero the Hero, I think. Honk's got to be the one to use it. <laughs> well, let's hope it does enough damage to kill it. Please. Oh, I should have oomphold. I should have oomphold. Uh... Ah, man. I think I'm going to oomphold first. Hopefully I don't lose my pep. Or get put to sleep or something. Son of a bitch. First try. Mountain Mover. That's a third third tier of his little trap ability, which is awesome. Nice, 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 nice. Mm -hmm. 
Penta Rang. Dun dun 